what's up guys welcome to our channel this is green feed media hope you all are doing very well uh we would like you to kindly subscribe if you haven't subscribed and also turn on the notification bell just so you are notified whenever we upload any video if you feel like you can also give this video a thumbs up and we're just saying thank you very much we'll go straight to the news now Atiku saraki condemns sas atrocities Good morning, my people. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever this news is getting to you from. Hope you are doing very well. This is the news for this morning. So let's just sit back and relax and see what it's all about. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and the former President of the State, Dr. Bukola Saraki, yesterday condemned the actions of the Special Anti-Robbery Square, SARS. They expressed concern about the atrocities of SARS officers in separate statements yesterday, calling for a reform of the unit of the police to get rid of corrupt officials. In his statement, Abubakar lamented that the arm of the Nigeria police has turned out to become an instrument of oppression to the people meant to protect. Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party in 2019 general election, explained that SARS was set up to confront violent crimes such as armed robbery, kidnapping and other related crimes. However, the former vice president added that the unit has today morphed into an oppressor of the Nigerian masses who strive every day for a better life. Reports of intimidation, harassment, and outright extortion of officers of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad has continued unabated. I strongly condemn their cruel actions against our people, and I urge the government to rise to the occasion and meet this monstrosity in the bud with the seriousness it deserves. It is expedient that the activities of SARS are reviewed to ensure that the rogue elements are excised from the unit and sanity returned to its operation, the former vice president stated. Commenting on the SARS atrocities on his Twitter handle at Bukola Saraki, the former Senate president lamented the report of the continued harassment, illegal arrest, detention and high-handedness by rogue cells of the unit of the police against innocent Nigerians, most of them young people, in spite of efforts to reform the police and raise standard of policing, are disheartening. He explained that in a situation where the officers of the Nigeria police become a threat to the lives and property of the very citizens they swore to protect, is condemnable and unacceptable. He therefore called on the federal government to immediately put a stop to this reprehensible activities and restructure the unit to better perform its lawful duties of safeguarding the lives and property of the Nigerian people. Honestly, the, the, the problem of this SAS is this has been going on for such a long time and it's really getting out of hand. The way they oppress Nigerians, the way they oppress young people. I mean, when you see a young boy who looks good, you feel that the boy is something else. You see him well-dressed, you feel like he's something else. He's a bandit or, or he's doing something illegal to get money. And when you see them, they just try to show that they have got power, which is not good. Just like these statements have said, they are supposed to protect the Nigerian people and not cause problems, not cause and grieve for families by killing their young ones, killing young boys. Our president needs to take heed and something needs to be done. A reform needs to be done. Honestly, this has gone on for so long and we are so tired of this. Guys, I would like to know what you think. We want to see um, your comments. Let's see what you think about this. Let's interact about this. And until we meet next time, please do take care of yourselves. Bye.